everybody, it's Deborah, and I'm going to do a little bit of a different video for you today. I'm going to do an unboxing video of a prize that I got from Jessica from the Two Sticks and String podcast. Except the dogs have opened the door, so hang on just a second. Okay, so now that I have decreased the chaos in here, I won a prize for the Color Your Stash um, contest last year from Jessica from Two Sticks and String Podcast, and she mailed me a huge box of yarn. I can't lift it up. It's 25 pounds. I can't, I mean, I can't lift it, but I'm not going to. Um, but I thought it would be fun if we opened it together. So I have been crafting a lot, but I am sewing witches' hats to take to some events. And I will uh, record a regular podcast next week to show you the witches' hats that I'm making. But I thought it would be fun if we opened this box together. Um, this is, she had two prizes. She had a commercial yarn prize that I already won and got most of back in December uh, for the first half of the year. And then she had a, a indie dyed yarn prize too. And I actually won both of them. <laughs> because uh, I worked my tail end off to win that prize. Uh, but at any rate, so um, I thought I would show you what I've got. So I've opened, I just now opened the box and uh, let's see what's in here. So looks like we've got this skein of Deborah Norville every day. So that is, um, let's see what it is. It is, doo -doo -doo -doo, it's from Premier Yarns and it is 100% acrylic. So this will make a great hat or something to um, wear. I love these colors too. These colors are, I love all colors, but I love those a lot. Okay, looks like there's three, four skeins of this. So let me pull this out next. Okay, so there's four skeins of this. This is Summer Nights uh, by Lion Brand. This looks like lace weight almost. Um, no, it's sock weight. So it is... But it looks kind of like lace weight and there are three it's acrylic and it's 82 percent acrylic and 18 percent polyester so in these um four skeins i've got over 3200 yards so this could be a nice summery open sweater so yay another sweater quantity when i feel like knitting a lace weight sweater <laughs> I have been knitting. I've been working on my Kelvin Hall shawl while I've been doing planetarium shows. And I have Harmony in the Hollow, Pagan in Pride this weekend. So I'm going to take my shawl over there to knit with me. Because I'm actually going to stay over there and camp with my friends. So um, I am going to come back and forth to take care of the animals. But I am going to stay over there. So then these two look like they're the same. This is Brava Worsted. So this is acrylic from Knit Picks. And that pretty gray. Um, looks like there's two of these Karen cakes in this colorway. This, let's see, what is this? This is cake pop. So it's this grays. And so this is really pretty. This would be something really neat. Let's see, how many yards is this? This is 200 grams, approximately 383 yards. So two times that would be, uh, 766, 766 yards. So that would be a good big shawl. So yeah, so that's really pretty. I never knitted with any of that, so that'll be fun. Um, looks like there's some more Knit Picks here. This is uh, Knit Picks Brava Sport in this beautiful green color. I think that looks like a sweater that she knitted, so I'm wondering if that's something that she had left over from a sweater. Uh, then we've got, ooh, got this pretty blue here. See if there's another one like this. Yes, there's two of these. Brava Sport. This looks like that uh, Solstice. Solstice Heather. I recognize that because I have some worsted weight or bulky weight this color. So that's a beautiful blue. And then there's also this one, which is Sport Weight, which is um, Celestial. And then this one, which is Sport Weight, which is Eggplant. So I've actually got one, two. Let's see. I've got two greens, two of the Solstice. One and one. Hmm. My brain is a thinking. So let's see. This is uh, 273 yards times six. That could be a sweater. That could definitely be a sweater. Color work sweater, perhaps. I don't know. We'll see. Don't know yet. I've got a lifetime supply of yarn, thanks to Jessica and Shirley. <laughs> I'll never need to buy yarn again. This big thing of yarn. I don't know what brand this is, but it's pretty, and this will make a mighty fine hat or hats. 
um, be very warm. So that'll be great. Then we've got some um, yarn, which we will not name from a, play, a store we don't shop at, but it's still good for amigurumis and such like that. So that's great. And another one of those, that green will be great for something. Uh, oh, here's another uh, Celestial Brava Sport. So there's that. And then this looks like maybe a Karen cake. Also, I don't know, but it feels feels good. Very pretty colors, very interesting colors. There's like a olive green and a purple and all of that in here. So that'll be interesting to make something out of. Oh, this is beautiful. This is beautiful colors. So don't know what that is, but it'd make a beautiful cowl or hat. You can never have too many hats, I don't think. Okay, so now it looks like we're getting down into the indie dyed yarn. So this is exciting. Ooh, so here is a bag of beautiful colored yarn. Four skeins of it. So don't know what that is. Let's see if maybe there's a tag stuck down inside here. Doesn't seem to be, but boy, it's sure pretty. She might be able to tell me what that is if I ask her. So that's super pretty. Okay, then, oh, this is lovely. This is um, some Lollipop Girl yarns, um, beautiful blue colorway, Kimberlina. So this is 8020 um, Merino Nylon. And so sock weight yarn, very pretty. Um, then, let's, oh, Bayou City Yarns, which is now Shipwreck Sheep. Uh, lit like a Christmas tree. So this is their, their super sock, which is a 7525 sock yarn. Beautiful green colorway. That's very nice. That's a different kind of Christmas colorway, isn't it? If I ever get around to making myself Christmas socks, I'm still working on my socks from October. Found them the other day. Okay, this is got a tag in it. So let's see what this is. Oh, this is a Mountain Colors. Mountain Colors. Look at that. Very pretty. So this is a Mountain Colors. And this is... Um, Barefoot, 60% superwash wool, 25% mohair, 15% nylon. And this is a sock white yarn called Spring Eclipse. So that's beautiful. Okay. Then, let's see what else we got here. Oh, we got some, looks like some um, Felici. Gotta love some Felici. My friends are determined to get me knitting more socks here. Got a lot of different beautiful colors of Felici. So let's see, this one is Drama Club. Golden Hour, Chelsea, Side Pony. <laughs> that sounds like something from the 80s, right? And then, oh, here's a couple more. Here is two, looks like the same, called, no, this one is Dance Party, and this one is Test Pattern, okay? And let's see if there's any more. Yeah, here's another one. This one is Baker Street, okay? And I do want to knit more socks. I just get distracted by making other things. Seven C's. Let's see if there's any more Felici. Yep. Uh, oh, that one's pretty harvest. Look at those colors. Wow. Looks like wildfire. Uh, this one is Material Girl. Good old 80s music for me there, you know. 8-bit. Um, Then this one is Hopscotch. Ooh, that's pretty. Lots of potential socks here, right? Socks and socks and socks. We're gonna, we're gonna, I'm gonna, yeah. I mean, I like to knit socks. I just get distracted. Ice cream truck. Mountain mist. Oh Lord, there's a high uncovered a whole nest of Felici. <laughs> okay, um. I'll just sit these down right here for now. Then uh, lasso and hamburger. <laughs> that one's great. Then beyond the wall, I actually have some of this. I've knitted a pair of socks out of that. Deja blue, um, steamer trunk, and summer camp. Great, awesome. Okay, all right. Then oh. Queen, King, King Fibers, Queen Fibers, I don't know how to say that. Look at that, y'all, that looks like a set, hand dyed in London, how fancy is this? This looks like a shawl kit of some kind. So it's got one, two, three, four, five skeins in it. Um, this is this is fingering weight yarn, 
So there's 2,000 yards here. That's going to make a big shawl or a fingering weight sweater. And a sweater. Look at that. That is so pretty. So this is 100% um, ultra fine South African merino. Look at that. Beautiful, beautiful. That is just gorgeous. That's going to make a beautiful shawl. So we'll keep that together in its little bag. Oh, here's some more Felici. Blue again. Endless summer. Let's see. Um, all right. Hmm. What is this? This is anti-pilling everyday bobbin premier yarn, three balls in one, endless possibilities. A total of 543 yards. So, um, yeah, so this is medium weight. So this is like a DK, I guess, yarn. Look at that. And I guess it kind of gradiates like that. How pretty is that? That would make a really neat shawl. Um, okay, here's another Karen cake. Oh, I love these colors. Look at that. Look at that. That one's called um, Lemon Lime. Yes, it is. <laughs> okay, then we've got uh, some Regia in Pepita Color Pop. So this is the patterning regia, it looks like. So that will be fun. Cool. Okay, then we've got some more individual skeins here. Let's see what we've got. We've got a Honeybee Knits sock set, it looks like. This is called a Special Edition Sock Kit Princess Jasmine and Queen Princess Jasmine. So there's a sock kit. And then here's another Honeybee Knits. Um, this was called Witch's Brew. Perfect. <laughs> Perfect. Save that for Halloween socks for next year. Uh, this one doesn't have a tag on it, but look at that color. Isn't that beautiful? Challenging me on my colors, too, which is good. I like that. Um, okay, so this is another Honey Bee Knits. This is a one-of-a-kind gothic queen bee. So that'll be a perfect uh, ha Christmas or Halloween sock as well. Uh, Lollipop Girl Yarns Christmas Tree at Rockefeller Center. Looks like this is a, a DK. Yeah, a DK set pair here. So that's pretty. Um, oh, here's some more Felici. Um, this is Ever After. Uh, Arkansas Yarn Co. Arkansas Yarn Co. This is Merry and Bright. That is definitely that. So that's a different Christmas colorway for sure. Um, colorful Creative by Crawlaline. Crawlaline? A different kind of rainbow. This is cool. Pride Month socks, perhaps. Is this sock white? Yes. Look at that. Yes. I just came back from setting up my tent over at Pagan and Pride, and the local white supremacists decided they would be cute and paint a swastika on the road. So we painted over it with a pride flag. <laughs> um, well, they had already painted it by the time I got there, but I brought more paint. And if they paint it again, we'll paint it again. So this looks like it's some that maybe she had dyed because it says stroll fingering bear. And this is definitely not bear. So that's beautiful colors. Um, here's another beautiful green and blue colorway. Uh, this is Desert Vista Dye Works. I've never had any Desert Vista Dye Works, so this is fun. This is called Gingerbread People, and it looks like a sock set. I've never knitted with any Desert Vista Dye Works, so I'm excited about this. That's great. I'm excited about all of it, but that's, that's particularly exciting. Okay, then it looks like we've got a couple of um, pieces of skeins here of this beautiful blue. I bet that's a DVD also, if I'm guessing, but I don't know. I'll have to ask her. Okay, then, let's see. Um, don't know what this is, but it sure is pretty. Sparkly sock yarn with Stellina in it. Then, Tina's Twisted Fibers. This looks like a sock set. Sleigh bells and gold, gold little woolly. <laughs> so, yeah, this is a sock set. That's pretty. Um, this one is a skein from an advent calendar. It's Mar uh, MCN. Yeah, so this is um, 
one of the Christmas colorways from 2019 from Lollipop Girl Yarns. Ooh, Dirty Beach. Sparkling Seaweed Yarn. Never heard of them. Sparkling Seaweed is 100% Superwash Merino, and this is also fingering weight. This is called Dirty Beach. Be careful how you say that, right? Love that. Okay. Uh, this one is uh, Candy Coated Yarn. And this is uh, Licorice. And it is also a fingering weight. That's really cool looking with those pops of color in it. I like that a lot. Then, I don't know what this is, but it's got some beautiful browns and uh, red flecks in it. Speckled yarn. Be a good CJ Brady one skein wonder. Uh, this is Bad Wolf Girl Studios. And this is called Drogon. And this is a sock yarn also. Ooh, yeah, look at that. That's super pretty. I'm seeing a lot of CJ Brady potential here. <laughs> one skein wonders. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, then this one is also beautiful, this green and gray mixture here. And then last but not least in this yarns, we've, the skeins, we've got uh, Sparkling Seaweed. This is a mystery skein from October 2017. Look at that. That's very unique colors together. Okay, then she also sent me some sock blanks. So let's pull those out. Looks like three sock blanks. One of them has been started here or unraveled. So here's this sock blank. This is a um, Gale's Art sock blank. Okay, in Forest. And then this one is... Um, Gail's Art also, Sock Blank, and this is Fireworks on the 4th, that's cool, yeah, and then I suspect this one is probably the same person with the flowers on it, how cool is that, okay, let me put those back, oh, she sent me some bags too, so let's pull those out, so we've got, looks like a Christmas bag here. So let me see if there's a maker's tag inside. No, no maker's tag. Oh, wait. No, no maker's tag. So really cute little Christmas bag, and that's great. And then, oh, look at that. A Mickey Mouse bag. Look at that. This is Stitching Plaza. Look at that. That's a huge bag. That's a sweater bag. That's nice. Very cool. Then, oh, look at this. This is Stephen, Stephen and Penelope. Yay! She sent me a Stephen and Penelope bag. That's awesome. And then, let's see, what does this one say? Ah, oh, feeling lucky. Playing yarn chicken, I bet. We playing yarn chicken? <laughs> anyway, so very cool. Then she sent me some makeup because we both share a love of good makeup. So thank you, Jessica, for my prize. This was a lot of fun. So thank you all for watching this unboxing video. I'm going to try to record a regular podcast next week after uh, Harmony in the Hollow. Um, I'll try to take some footage at Harmony in the Hollow because Lewis and Krista are going to be there playing music. And CJ Tucker is going to be there playing music. And I'm teaching three classes. And it should be a great weekend. We're not going to let the turkeys get us down, right? We're just going to keep painting a pride flag over whatever ugliness they put out there on the road until they quit. Because we got, we'll just keep buying more paint. So y'all have a great time and I'll talk to y'all soon. Until then, be good to each other and take care of each other. And peace out, y'all. Bye. <music>